Number 1. Guitars, the museum. You wouldn't know it from the outside, but this discreet-looking former schoolhouse from the early 1900s is a rock, blues, or jazz fan's idea of heaven. This museum that opened during UMAS' recent spell as capital of culture has more than 500 electric guitars, mostly from the 1950s and 1960s. Connoisseurs can size up some extremely rare instruments like a Les Paul from 1960, a Gibson Flying V from 58 and a Fender Broadcaster from 1950. Number 2. Vasterbotten's Museum. On the eastern edge of Umoa is a museum for the Vasterbotten County, revealing the history and unique culture of this part of northern Sweden. Among many things, you'll get to know about the Sami people and enter their typical huts, katun, made from timber and peat moss. Some 40 historic buildings from around the county have been dismantled and rebuilt at the outdoor museum, among which are a threshing house, farmhouse, and bakery. Number 3. Umedalen Sculpture Park. A former psychiatric hospital in the Umedalen suburb has been converted into Sweden's largest art gallery. After closing down in the 1980s and being sold off, the hospital and its extensive parkland were chosen by the developer Baltic Gruppen for an annual, now biannual, outdoor art exhibition. This company has purchased a sculpture from each exhibition, gradually amassing more than 40 works and permanently installing them in this evocative environment. Number 4. Bild Museet. It's hard to take your eyes off this remarkable museum in front of the Uemi River. This is the new home of the Bild Museet, unveiled in 2012 and set within the Riverside Umoa Arts Campus. The building, easily identified by its square lines and windows in random positions, was designed by Henning Larsen Architects and has been lauded internationally. Number 5. Umoa Rathus. After a fire claimed most of Umoa in 1888, the architect Frederick Olis Lindstrom was drafted in to design the city's new landmarks. Maybe the most important was the town hall, completed just two years after the devastation. This red brick edifice is on the same ground as the former 17th century building, facing the river harbor, which was a vital means of transport before the railway arrived. Number 6. Nidalastion. This is when the pools, playgrounds, lawns for sunbathing and café at UME Lagan are all open. There's also a campsite nearby with a holiday village that has an adventure golf course. The waters of the lake itself are unusually clear, and if you're up for a swim there's a sandy beach on the north shore. Number 7. Kulturvaven. Arching over Strandgaten in the center of Umaa by the UME River is the city's new, labyrinthine cultural center. The center is in essence two buildings that fuse together over the street, and is a surprising muddle of amenities, visitor attractions, and performance venues. The city's library, theater, art house cinema and market are all here, as well as a cafe on the waterfront and a gallery for art exhibitions. Number 8. Umoa City Church. One of the church's predecessors was demolished by the Russian army in 1770, and the other was burnt down in the fire in 1888. This neo-Gothic edifice was designed Frederick Olis Lindstrom and built according guidelines set out by Helgo Zetterval who designed and restored churches and cathedrals all over Sweden at the end of the 19th century. Number 9. Arboretum Noor. In the 19th century this was the scene of a huge water-powered sawmill responsible for cutting down large swathes of woodland. Now, the word bagbaleri is a synonym for reckless deforestation in Swedish. Starting in the 1970s, this became somewhere to appreciate foliage as an arboretum was planted along the left bank of the river. Number 10. Umevatoriet. In former army barracks is a kid-friendly science museum that opened in 2006 and runs during term time. There's an exhibition about space, a mathematics room with a wealth of brain teasers, puzzles and games, and a planetarium with three shows in the evening, one of which is in English. The attraction's showpiece though is its observatory, which has a 35 cm optical telescope with a CCD camera for guided stargazing on nights when the weather is clear. Hope you like this video for more videos please subscribe to our channel.